Hey guys, thank you for tuning into Aquonix. Fork oil replacement is an important maintenance that we often skip during service. Let's see how to properly replace your fork oil in this video. I will be using Motul Heavy 20W fork oil this time and as usual, the link to purchase the same along with the tools used in this video is been provided in the description. This is a 350ml bottle and you can purchase two or three bottles as per the requirement which you will be getting to know in this video. Start by removing the axle nut using a socket or a ring spanner. Once the nut is removed, take out the washer. Next, remove the both 12mm bolts holding the caliper to the front fork assembly. Then wiggle and remove the caliper out of the disc unit. Now using a 6mm allen key, loosen the allen bolt by turning it couple of turns. Now using a 11mm allen key, loosen the fork nut by couple of turns, making sure that you don't remove the entire bolt now. This is the right time to place any support material or a jack holding the motorcycle temporarily as we will be removing the wheel and the front fork unit. Push the axle and take it completely out from other side. Remove the wheel, disconnect the wheel speed sensor. Now using a 12mm socket or a ring spanner, remove the two bolts holding the mudguard onto the right hand side fork. Once this is done, using a 17mm ring spanner or a socket, loosen the bottom fork clamp by a couple of turns and remove the right hand side fork unit completely out of the bike. Now as the fork is out, start removing its top nut completely using the 11mm allen key. Make sure that you give enough pressure on it to avoid the nut from shooting away due to the tension in the spring. Do this process slowly and carefully. Once the nut is out, take out the spring and keep it on a clean pan and let it drain for some time. Also, drain all the old fork coil out by stroking the fork tube couple of times. I will be using one entire bottle of Motul Heavy 20W fork oil here as this will provide the right balance between stiff and soft suspension. If you are looking for having a medium setting, you can go for 350ml of fork oil in NS. If you are looking for a stiffer suspension, you can choose an oil quantity between 350ml to 420ml. This will give you a hard suspension which is ideal for track use. If you want to keep your suspension soft, you may choose an oil level between 250ml to 350ml. Now using a clean piece of cloth, wipe the spring and make it free of any old oil residue. Clean the fork tube and keep the compressed part of the spring down and insert the spring inside the fork tube. Then start pouring the oil completely into the fork tube. Hand tighten the fork oil net, ensure that you don't use any tools initially to avoid damaging the thread off.
Now repeat the same process for the other tube too. And this is how you install the fork unit into the bike. Once the fork is inserted, install all the bolts holding the mudguard back. Insert the axle and confirm the axle moves freely. This will ensure proper fork alignment. Now for alignment, I am using a 4mm allen key to set proper distance on both the side. And once set, tighten the top allen completely. Next, tighten the bottom bolt to lock the fork units in its place. Now insert the wheel and insert the axle aligning the wheel sensor and the spaces. Insert the washer and tighten the axle nut. Now insert the caliper and tighten both the bolts. Now finally, using the 11mm allen key and the ring spanner working as an extension, tighten the top bolt completely. By this, the fork servicing is completed. I hope this video was informative enough and if you people like this video, do consider subscribing to the channel.